let's talk about the role of a product manager so i know a ceo of a, a company one time pulled me aside to tell me how he viewed the role of a product manager he said as a product manager i want you to think and act like the ceo of this piece of product you manage that means like a ceo you need to look at the bigger picture and strategize on most effective ways to build a successful product I always like this analogy because it remind me uh, as a product manager I was accountable to the success of the product that I manage I'll be required as an entrepreneur to have the entrepreneur spirit to get it done you will hear dozens of other explanation of uh, metaphors about who a product manager is what their responsibilities are one thing I've realized through experience is that no two product manager roles are alike because product managers manage thousands of different product types across hundreds of industry. A product manager of let's say an e-commerce site has a very different set of responsibility and obstacles to overcome than let's say um, a product manager of a hardware product and of course even more different responsibilities for a product manager of a machine learning product. So in short, a product manager is a multidisciplinary individual who identifies what a product to build, when to build it, and why it needs to be built. Of course, there is a lot of more than that to it. It starts with a product manager listening and researching what is most needed in, a, in the product to achieve the company's goals and the site users. Then they look at these ideas and ask which one of these are good ideas, which one of these are not great, and which one of feasible uh, are, are technical capabilities in the company which are not. Which one of these should we do right now and which one of these can we save to focus on later. Many people think of product managers as the idea people but in reality a bad product manager are the ones who come up with their own ideas in a silo so a great product manager are excellent listeners and researchers they bring forth ideas from multiple sources from users other employees from data from the industry trends so a product manager not coming with, up with ideas themselves they are exploring prioritizing and acting on the ideas as you can tell there's a lot of moving parts uh, in the role of a product manager the best way uh, to understand the multiple facets of a product manager and what the product manager does is in this uh, Venn diagram as you can see as a product manager you are the intersection of the three key areas the technical component of the product we have the user experience component of the product, also known as the, uh, uh, the UX. And then we also have the business component of the product. So being a product manager is like the code's jack of all trades, master of none. Meaning a great product has a broad knowledge of technical, user experience, and business domain. But they are not necessarily the person on the team that is an expert in any of these areas. While well, a technical engineer can come up with the best machine learning model for making a user happy, that might not be the best user experience because it could compromise a user's interest in it. It also may not be the best business decision because the data it is trained on might be too costly to collect. So product managers learn how to compromise and collaborate between these three components of a product in order to build the best overall product feasible that optimize for tech, user experience and business all at once. It's a goal optimizing juggling act. One thing to keep in mind however is that product managers don't manage anyone. Product managers manage the products but not the people. No one reports into a product manager. This in fact a good design for the role product manager needs to collaborate between different domains and pull ideas from many areas of the business. They want the teams they are on to feel very open and share ideas and issues with them. And think about it, it's easier to share your big bold ideas with a co-worker than it is a boss, right? This is what a product manager now let's talk about differentiation of a product manager in AI and data. 
How is a product manager working with AI and data different? Remember the Venn diagram from the previous lesson? It shows that the product manager exists at the intersection of technical user experience and business domain. Well, an AI and data product manager stands at the intersection of one more domain, the domain of data. Yes, that's right. AI and data product manager, unlike uh, product managers uh, working on other products, have to juggle yet another component as part of their role. This means an AI and data uh, product manager has the added responsibility of considering the collection, security, variety, and accuracy of the data being used in algorithms or models. Working on a project that help collect more data from users, collaborating with third parties to acquire or annotate data, partnering with analysts to clean and prepare the data. I find out that much of my time as a senior product manager in AI, my team had the right data and enough data to develop the algorithm or build the models they are working on. In practice, this meant negotiating contract with third parties to acquire data. Example will be uh, maybe let's say you are working with uh, internal teams to build a data collecting tools so users could provide more input. But the added responsibility of considering data is in the only difference. Let's, let me walk you through two other challenges of uh, uh, challenges for AI data PMs. We have number one, uncertainty in time and performance. So AI and data products resemble uh, research and development, that is R&D. Effort, uh, much like in pharmaceutical research, you uh, invest time and money without knowing how long development will take, have no guarantee the model or algorithm will work. So you deal with uncertain timeline, uncertain total investment and uncertain output performance. So communicating AI to stakeholders also is another one. Uh, AI is a new and misunderstood field. Many executive and business teams lack technical knowledge and may see AI as a magical black box solution. So as a PM in AI and data, you must educate a significant portion of the company on how AI truly works. You help explain how AI impact timeline, budget, and project performance. You bridge the gap between technical and non-technical stakeholders. So as a product manager in AI and data, you will have to do additional work in educating sizable portion of your company on how AI really work and how that impacts the project's timeline. So budget and performance as well. So in the next lesson uh, of the course, continues to explain the difference between product management and project management. So here, let's talk about the difference between product manager and project manager. While you might hear reference to AI product as AI project, it's important to understand that product management and project management are not the same thing. They share overlapping skill, but responsibility are distinct. So let's take a look at the key difference between a project manager. So they have a clear defined project timeline and budget and know the goal and constraint of what they are working on, manage one time and driver with a start and end date. And they are also responsible for implementing their project and also focuses on resource scheduling, risk management, and budget control. Their role is more tactical. Now, let's take a look at the product manager. They do not have predefined goals. Their work is ongoing and not limited to a single project. They manage a series of related efforts to continuously improve the product. Uh, responsibilities may include gathering user feedback, identify problems and opportunity, prioritizing the initiative, building roadmaps, creating vision and strategy. Their role is more strategic, accountable for direction and outcome. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's say someone worked on an agency that builds software and mobile apps. As a project manager, that, that his responsibility is to deliver what the client, let's say Deloitte or let's say McDonald's asks for on a budget and on schedule. Later, as a product manager, was the one who is setting the vision, the goals and requirements. So as a product manager, the responsibilities shifted to conducting user interviews, testing and prioritization, ensuring alignment with business goals, user needs and technical 
constraints. So depending on the organization, in larger companies, a product manager work alongside a project manager. And in smaller companies, the product manager might wear both hats. So now let's talk about divisions of responsibility and let's use an AI as an example. Imagine a photo storage app using AI to sort images. The product manager interviews users, work with developers to identify the best approach, decide to test neural networks for image sorting, set the goal for how the AI will be integrated. And then the project manager will ensure that the app is built to show the neural network results, keep things on time and on budget. So project manager ensure execution and product managers define directions. So final thought is project manager are not often assigned to AI projects because AI timelines are unpredictable and outcomes are uncertain. That's why AI and data product uh, managers are often equipped with project management skills to handle both strategy and the delivery aspect of it as well. Now, let's talk about a product manager as an analytic translator. Being a skilled communicator who can bridge the gap between technical and non-technical teams is a critical skill for any product manager, but it's especially vital in AI and data. This doesn't mean you need a background in engineering or data science. However, you do need to understand how AI works and foundational data science practices that make machine learning and make intelligent decisions. The role of an analyst translator, according to the Harvard Business Review, the role of an analytics translator is essential in any organization working with big data and AI. They define this role as someone who bridges the technical expertise of data engineer and data scientists with operational knowledge of functions like marketing, supply chain, rigs, and frontline management. So for a product manager in AI and data, you are the analytics translator in your organization. Some responsibilities will be act as a technical foundation for stakeholders, differentiate and explain t uh, terms like AI, machine learning, and deep learning, create accessible uh, explanat explanations of complex concepts for non-technical teams. Let's take a look at some real life as uh, example. Uh, a product manager in machine learning will spend much of their time explaining to stakeholders what machine learning and AI actually are. And this include creating short presentation to educate sales, leadership, marketing and customer service team and helping them understand why the team couldn't give exact answers to questions like when will the model be ready? Why can't the AI uh, just do this? Instead of brushing off cons uh, concerns and great product manager take time to walk stakeholders through a premium so they understand why certain decisions are made and what challenges are involved. So why communication matter? As emphasized earlier in the course, communication is critical for product manager. You will always engage with your team, your users, your stakeholders. For PM in AI and data, this communication includes another layer. You must explain AI, its capabilities, its limits, and its unique product development complexities. So skill of a great analytics translator from the Harvard Business Review list the key traits. So you need to have the domain knowledge, gen general technical fluency, project management skills, entrepreneurial spirit, the ability to communicate data and strategy effectively across the organization. And then also McKinsey and company estimates that demand for analytics translator in the US alone will reach 2.4 million by 2026. Your job as a product manager in AI and data is to understand and to explain your, your, you, are, you are the bridge 